What is going on everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to Hobby Adventure. Today, we continue the slow progress of rebuilding Arcadia. This video, we are gonna focus on shifting a part of the three tracks on the one end of the layout a little further out. And this is to line up those three tracks with the section uh, that's according to the side of it. And also the, the new piece that we're putting in there. And then we're gonna also fill in the new section or yeah, the, the small new section. Uh, between the, the coal facility and the downtown area unofficial names <laughs> uh, we're gonna put some we're gonna put styrofoam in there and then we're also gonna lay down some cork as well as I want to get the ecos wired up uh, with power and also with a network cable uh, so I ran wires from my computer area up through the roof down to the uh, to the wall where the layout is on uh, and then I put a nice little terminal down underneath uh, that has uh, two HDMI's, uh, USB, and a Ethernet port. And I want to put a screen on that wall there, as well as once I finally get Arcadia up, the idea is I want to do some live trains, and I want to use some multiple cameras. And then what I'm going to do is with that second uh, uh, HMI port, <clears throat> uh, that'll go to a camera which will send signal <laughs> to the computer uh, via uh, an HDMI. Anyways, I'm talking ahead of myself. So that's what I'm hoping to accomplish today. We'll see how far I get. Uh, this may be overlaps on a couple of days. Again, it all depends on how much time I get. So, oh, and the big thing is, uh, yeah, there's something really cool that I 3D printed that I'll show you guys uh, later on in the video. All right, let's get to work. All right, so just an update of what's going on here with the layout. Uh, nothing's really changed. I got that section in right here. Uh, it's full of tools. Reason for that is this right here. Finally got the drawer in. <laughs> Super happy about that. Now what we can do is when we want to use layout, the ECOS will be right here. And then when we don't want to use it, it'll get put away, tucked away. I was underneath the layout. I had to uh, move some wires around, tuck some more wires, uh, put some more hangers. Um, oh, the big change is, I don't know if you're gonna see, Mika, pass me the light that's right beside the air pump. So I, actually, I had to relocate the space bar. Um, before I had everything daisy chained from the right all the way coming around to the left. But where the plug is, the plug is a little bit more to the right. And it's gonna have to do like a sort of a T. So uh, that side of the layout is gonna be all daisy, daisy changed that way. And then this one would be plugged in that one coming over here. So that way I can plug the ECOS in over here. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I lost a couple of plugs, just how tight it is in there from the bracket for the slider. Um, but I retained the USB and then one plug that's over here. I'll be able to plug a couple of more things over there. So it's all right though. Just now have to uh, deal with these wires uh, as the drawer opens and closes, as you can see. I'm gonna find a solution for that one. Yeah, so like I was saying, just tidied up everything. Notice it's got a couple of wires uh, for the ECOS detection unit, got pulled off. You can see right there. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what wires are for what and more hangers try to tidy up everything keep it uh, uh, all out of the way so So plugs right there, it'll come up um, Yeah, that extension cord so I'm gonna have to probably run this power bar up over there on the other side of that uh, that will let me plug in that other black space bar and then i have this space bar right here that will daisy chain all the way around this way uh, to be plugged in over there so that's that t piece that i was talking about and then for the 3d printer i'm going to leave it here i'm going to make a base just to keep it up off the ground uh, and then the control box will be right there yeah slowly slowly getting everything back together that's probably the biggest mess. I have to redo everything.
we're down underneath the layout, uh, just about to wire up what I need. I need to be able to manage these wires so that way I can put away this stuff. And this may go different. Okay, so I have an idea on what I want to use. Um, you'll see it on a lot of machinery when you have lots of wires. It's kind of like a, a basket and it's it, it, it rotates. Anyway, I don't have it with me. I, I don't know where it is, but I did 3D print it and it was a whole bunch of it. It's like just for cable management for areas where things are sliding in and out. So this stuff over here, which is for the ECOS detector, which is right up here. Um, I'm going to be rerouting the wire, but for now it's, oh, it seems to be okay. It's not putting a lot of stress, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, the thing is that I need to figure out is this brick for the ECOS, the power brick. Um, so half of it will be going to the ECOS, as you can see right here. The other half will be plugged into over here, and now we got to find a spot for the brick. I'm actually thinking of maybe doing that right there. That might So the next thing I'm going to have to do is run Ethernet cable. All right, so the camera died. I'm just going to give you up to date of uh, what has happened. All right, so the Ethernet cable is now all installed and going right to the drawer. Now this is the piece that I was talking about that I 3D printed and I couldn't remember the name. It's actually called a drag chain. So what ends up happening is that the wires, as you can see right up in here, will actually sit inside this piece. And then there's a couple of bars, as you can see right there, uh, that will cover or contain the wires inside the drag chain. Uh, so what that does is as you open and close, it just keeps the wires from being chafed, cut, or even rubbed. Um, so it's just to help protect the wires. So that all, that's how it will be fully closed. And then when we open it up, uh, you can see that the ethernet cable is actually popping out of it. I still have to add those uh, crossbars to help uh, keep it inside. Now, speaking of the ethernet cable, the ethernet cable is now plugged into the ECOS, which means that is connected to our network, which also means I have access to the ECOS via from my computer. All right, so there's my computer, my screen, and then my second screen, <laughs> which takes up the entire screen. Like, that's massive. <laughs> so with this, I'm going to be able to get back into my programming and possibly even getting uh, some actually operations done, some ops done, which I'm looking forward to. All right, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please, why don't you go ahead, hit that thumbs up. Also, think about subscribing if this is the kind of thing that you like. I'm trying to get Arcadia back up and running to uh, where I was maybe about, like I think it was three or four years ago, uh, when I was putting out some uh, some videos on trains, trains reviews, uh, also building up the layout. I'm really, really missing it. Also, my kids are really getting the itch to <laughs> do some dioramas and you know do some landscaping and stuff. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified whenever we release a video. Until then, keep on modeling.